Daiwa just dropped their plans for the 2023 IMZ Limit Breaker Reel, which is going to be their first attempt at a digitally controlled reel. So today, I wanted to go ahead and translate everything that is on their Japanese website, summarize it, and present it to you in an English form, so that way you know exactly what's coming from this brand new reel from Daiwa and what can potentially change the future of fishing. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So Daiwa just revealed their brand new reel for 2023, known as the IMZ Limit Breaker. Now, while this reel compares to the Shimano DC with a digitally controlled spool, it seems to be worlds apart with technology and never before seen in the fishing industry. When you buy an IMZ reel, you'll need to download an app if you want anything more than the standard mode. Once you've downloaded this app, you'll unlock new casting modes like the long casting mode, the max break mode, and the PE braid mode. In addition to having these four break modes, Daiwa plans to actually allow their users to download new break modes via their app in the future once they've developed new break modes. And get this, you won't even have to pay any more for it, which sounds pretty good. In fact, it sounds too good to be true. Well, that's because there's definitely some flaws or some disadvantages to buying this reel. One being the price. This reel is going to be marked at 125,000 yen, or roughly 1,000 US dollars. In addition to that, it seems like this reel will be the first ever digitally controlled reel that will need to be charged or at least have some sort of Bluetooth connectivity in order to get all of the features. Now, back to some of the positive things. This reel will be made of Daiwa's Hyper technology, which includes a Hyper housing, a Hyper clutch durable support, a Hyper digger gear. In addition to that, it'll have the T-Wing system and a very, very awesome color, which replicates that Shimano Monster Drive DC. I believe it's made out of a titanium aluminum, if I'm not mistaken. It'll also have a very similar blue tint to that. If not, it looks a little bit darker. Now, going back to the app, in addition to having these real modes, you'll be able to keep track of logs during your fishing trips. What I mean by that is it'll actually tell you how many casts you've taken and what lure went the furthest. With this information, Daiwa plans to modify their current break modes and actually make new break modes that can increase potential lures. On top of that, Daiwa's actually included an incentive program into this app. So if you complete, say, 100 casts or maybe 20 fishing trips to a specific location, now you'll actually receive a badge or a star for these particular achievements. Which seems pretty cool and actually adds some sort of a competitive edge in my mind. Now while this reel's capabilities seem endless, they did mention that it works a lot better with the heavier lure market, so you're talking about half ounce and up. A lot of the lures that they were actually throwing in the videos look to be swim baits, saltwater jigs, or spoons. Now some of the final features to take away from this reel are going to be their smooth rolling EVA knobs, their dual aluminum spool, their aluminum large diameter star drag, and Daiwa's zero spool adjuster. The reel will be available in both left and right handed and has an 8.4 gear ratio for both. So long story short, this is a pretty badass reel for a pretty steep price. But honestly, I want to know what you guys think about it. Is it something you would pick up? Is the price just way too big? Or do you think Daiwa is overshooting the hill and this is going to get lost somewhere in the weeds and no one will be using this sort of technology in the future? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Once again, shout out to all you guys for the awesome support and comments. We actually hit 10,000 subscribers last year going into this year. And I didn't actually say anything, so I want to say thank you to all you guys for the amazing support. And I look forward to bringing you even more content this year. With that being said, that is going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully learned a little bit more about this reel. If you did find it helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. And once again, let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.